full of greatness, pigment, melanin, courageous, gender, pray to spirit, trans, elevate us across the <sighs> Beautiful beings, welcome to Visibly Articulate. May completion, steady, calm, fill me and this space as we create together. I am the founding executive at Authentic Creations Publishing Apothecary. My first name is Kuwa Jasiri and my pronouns are the one and this one. I am engaged in building equity for people of heritage of color through seed sovereignty and wellness i'm currently on wyatt lands w-i-y-o-t this is a uh, indigenous peoples and i honor this land as stolen and occupied i am currently in the redwoods we saw a banana slug earlier some cardinal jays um, blue cardinals were out chirping chirping also there's some noisy campers nearby um, so if you hear chatter in the background think of that as money affirmations you hear it Ching -ching, you've got that money your financial stability so today I am going to read you read a little bit from my zine self-care the only way is through so, you may ask, what is a zine? This is my ninth zine that I created, and a zine is an accessible, easily replicatable paper document that you can distribute to your community. A lot of grassroots networks use them. They're usually in black and white for the ease and replicability, but mine has a cover that's in color. So. You ready? We are in. Welcome. How do you start something as profound as loving yourself? I think get a journal so you can track this journey. Be that an audio recorder, paper, or coding yourself software. Do you. Let this experience amplify your skills. Take a deep breath. Hold in the oxygen gift of plants and make an intention. Exhale into the world, purpose. Keep breathing, use all your senses. This scene will cover 13 ways to care for yourself and it's kind of in the medium level of self-care. I'm gonna be using American Sign Language to track the numbers. So one is your ancestral greatness. Their excellence continues in you. In my journey of finding self, letting my authenticity out, Learning my truth, reconnecting with my ancestry has been the deepest work thus far. Oh yes, this is a spiritually emotional endeavor. This scene is bits and pieces clumped together the best I know how. With some physical care lumped in. Know your medicine. This includes ancestral life ways, remedies that work for you, your gifts and talents, local outlets that meet your needs, local herbalists in your area. I also want you to think of plants, the oldest, most ancient being, not most ancient, but one of the most ancient beings on earth and how they are our ancestors and we are descendant from them and uh, know your plant ancestors. Going in on self-care too, full body connection. Our bodies are pure genius in my opinion. I know there is to be at least three areas in the body that connect direct directly to every part of the body that being your hands, your feet, and your spine. Explore these possibilities. Third, emotional support. Ways to cope, what you cherish, your values, what satisfies you, what support is to you, your goals, symbols that bring you joy, and contacts, people you can contact, hotlines when you're in emotional distress. Four, Boundaries. Boundaries are the limits and rules for ourselves within a relationship. So you can make 
rigid boundaries that might keep you from receiving intimacy or closeness. You might have just very neutral boundaries that um, take into account your needs and feelings and you're able to communicate them. You're able to say no as well as yes. Um, you may have porous boundaries where you're being disrespected or abused. Five is grief, and we'll talk about that more later. Six is spiritual growth. Loud about it, commit to your spiritual growth and ask for help prioritizing. Think of spiritual growth as a gift to yourself, a wonderful treat you deserve. Believe you can become your authentic self. Seven is physical therapy. Physical therapy sessions are 45 to 60 minutes with a focus on connection, stretching, strengthening, icing, and massage. This process completes after about 12 sessions over two moon cycles. Each session will be a little bit different depending on your recovery process. I think we're here, now we're at eight. Says organization and routine. How can you put organization um, into your routine, but also self-care into your routine and to get clear on what areas you need to focus on and then integrate in and what that integration looks like. So now we're at 10. So I like to say this is the feelings and needs. So 10 is observations, feelings, needs, and requests. Then we have 11, conflict resolution, forgiveness, reconciliation, confrontation, boundaries, and meshment. So 11, 12, we have responding to microaggressions. I got one of those game buzzers from Taboo that goes, or goes eh, and tells you when you mess up. I buzz it at folks that microaggress me when I have little or no energy to fight back. The buzzer eh, totally is changing my life and allowing me to take up more space in the world. I like. So I think we're at 13. Therapy. So many kinds. Talk therapy, dark room therapy, sexual therapy, art therapy, medicinal therapies, cry therapy. Yay, those are 13. Thank you so much for doing that journey with me of self-care, exploring my zines. So now we're gonna go in on two sections. First, I wanna start with therapy because I wanna offer you this unique therapy option. Um, what is this saying? A while back, I asked the universe for a spiritual being to be my talk therapist. You know why? It is so hard to find what you need in the way you need it in a therapist that takes payment in the form of Medicaid and free insurances. Okay, so we're going to do an exercise, do a little reflection, um, and I'm going to give you clarity. So this is um, a talk therapist that lives in the spiritual realm. So it's a spiritual being that's coming to me to talk out my emotions. Um, so you got your journal? So what we're figuring out is what you need in a therapist. If you want to do the therapy route, um, this is also a great route if you're not sure about therapy, right? You can consult the spirit world, get a spirit that is your therapist, and you can kind of negotiate that. You have a little bit more say in how the sessions go, where they're held, um, the sends and and outs. You're getting my different angles and lights, my different kinds of brown. So with your paper, we're writing uh, what skills you want your therapist to have. So what are, you, what are you trying to get done? Is it sexual trauma, generational trauma? I'm like, what have I gone to talk therapy for? All these things, um, loving your brown. Um, so you need those skills. They need those skills. And those skills also translate to what you need help with. Um, sometimes I like a therapist that's patient or gentle. And then the outcomes you seek. Are you wanting to get more intimacy? Are you wanting more confidence, some self-worth? Um, so many outcomes. So on your paper, you have a minute. The skills of your therapist, what you need help with, and the outcomes you seek.
something fun I do in all my zines is make um, a language for the pages. And this is in Chichewa, the language of Malawi, a country in Africa. Kuminazizanu Mechimodizi is 16 in Chichewa. Okay, so then what I do with that is it helps you get clarity on, on what you need. And it also helps the spirit world, right? Um, maybe you have a spiritual practice. Maybe you know that if you're not super spe 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 specific, if you're not very specific, the universe is tricky, likes to have fun, and um, you'll get something a little bit different than you imagined if you're not um, either articulating it or communicating it in the way so then what I do when I have that compiled and you can come back to this list you can do this practice later where you have more space so this is offer that up in a prayer request so you have your bundle of three and you're offering that up in a prayer request maybe you're lighting a candle maybe you're doing a whole ceremony it depends you know just how you commune with the spirits in general um, I, you know, an offering, I say offering and I'm like, Ooh, when's the last time I gave my, um, spirits an offering. So that's special. I also have a business coach that lives in the spiritual realm. So you can think of things like that. Um, you need coaching. You want to learn the piano. I don't know how, you know, this can go as deep as you are connected with spirit. So you're offering it up in a prayer request and then you're, paying attention to the the answers and the signs my spiritual therapists um kind of come to me in different ways so be alert and it's going to come in the way you already receive spiritual messages so just be open and in tune to that be creative and finally get your needs met get your needs met get your needs met this is all about getting your needs met so do it do it do it do it the other section I want to go in on is grief. The only way out is through. As we continue our journey to emotional emancipation, it is essential that we uncover the condition of our hearts. When we are feeling stuck, numb, or in a cycle of emotional breakdown, it may be tied to grief that needs acknowledged or processed. There are five stages of grief. Denial and isolation, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance. The stages are not in any particular order. However, knowing the stages will help you understand and put into context bouncing back and forth between one or more of the stages. This is truly hard work. Take a breath and we begin. So this is a, a loss of grief is due to loss, a loss of intimate relationships, family relationships, friendships, the loss of an opportunity, a job, a function pertaining to the body or mind. Make a list as this will guide you on your continued work. Okay, so here's our exercise. Okay, you got your journal, whatever you're tracking with. Ask your heart which loss you need to focus on first, and we will do that in this space. Listen for the answer and trust it. And if nothing comes to mind, you can just write down all these prompts for later. Definitely do what's best for you. And you are the only one who knows what that is. Um, and at any time, you can yield that to someone else if you feel you're not capable. Bring to mind the losses experienced in your life. Release the urge to control. Honor yourself by allowing yourself to feel. This is on Sa Sanu Nazita Tu, page eight. So the exercise, I'm gonna go through it and then give you some moments to work on it. It's a goodbye letter to what you lost. Maybe you read a little better. Okay, so you address the letter to whoever, whoever. You can do a term of endearment. You can do, sometimes I do mean names, you know, like you bully or whatever I pick. Um, two, I am saying goodbye because. I am saying goodbye because. 
three or the next prompt saying goodbye makes me feel saying goodbye makes me feel and we're just writing these down right now I remember when we I remember when we you taught me you taught me something I want you to know is something I want you to know is I will always remember I will always remember and then you're closing the letter with from sincerely never contact me bye forever um, your name a term of endearment for yourself however you want to close that out so now I'm going to give you around a minute I'm not sure how this works um, to reflect fill in these um, know that they can be one word a sentence you can come back to it um, it's not for anyone uh, to receive it is for you to process this is for you um, you don't have to gift it you can burn it whatever you like you can revisit it add to it get clarity lean in and this exercise is on Sanu page 9 Beautiful. So, when you're complete, you read your letter out loud to the divine spirit, allowing yourself to feel your emotions. Even when I was just prompting, I was like, "Ooh, grief, I just feel it in the air. Um, and I honor you all for diving in, leaning in, being in this moment. As divine spirit, whatever you call the universe, all-knowing, ask them for what you need um, to move through this. And write down what what you receive and continue that journaling. I think that's it. We went in. Congratulations. <coughs> self-care. Congratulations. Congratulations. You took these moments of self-care. Hopefully you come back to these moments of self-care. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of me for finally getting this video done. Um, thank you. Thank you for showing up for trans and um, gender queer, and, um, gender nonconforming folks, people of heritage. If you're interested in any of my 10 zines, they are available at artisticapothecary.wordpress.com. And also you can visit our donation page if you like, likey, likey.